Hey, Hacking Continuum friends, this is Hacking Continuum Hot Tip Du Jour 35A, as in addendum. Anyway, uh, when I was doing the releases the other day, I was talking about all about release as if that was the only one finger release. But just wanted to put in, we also have Sustain or Sostenuto release, which is also very sensitive. Now, the one thing about those is however loud your finger is pressing to make Z loud, that will be the max, and then you grab it with your foot, that's as loud as it's going to get. You can get softer, softer with it, and then louder again, but it won't get any louder than your initial attack. But anyway, if you hit it softly with your finger, and then put your foot all the way down, it's going to have a very high resolution as it goes from soft to nothingness. As opposed to if you play loud, it'll cover the same distance to nothingness. So let's say there's 127 degrees on that pedal, okay? So you're going from 127 to zero. But if you start at a soft level, you could see that the resolution is going to be much finer, you know, going to nothing. Anyway, so keep that in mind. Um, so you could do it slow. Now you can also just, you know, let go quickly, which is almost the same as just Z and pulling off rapidly, which I think was number two in uh, Tip Du Jour 35. The other thing you could do if you wanted to make a percussive effect of it is slip your foot off the pedal so that it disappears while the pedal goes whack, you know, as it as it's spring-loaded, you know, mousetrap sound. Um, for a percussive addition to your release. Which brings me to another thing, you know, you could also use that to, if you're stopping with a band and you want to like all hit together. Let me tell you a quick story, uh, off topic, but whatever. Sometimes, you know, you have your release with the band and you don't kind of hit it, you know, if you got to like hit it and you don't quite all hit it quite together, you know, usually you're watching somebody. Um, one way to do it, if you have two free hands, my friend worked with Rupert Holmes. He said Rupert Holmes did the best cutoffs, which he would put out the one hand like this, right? And then he would raise his other hand in a fist and you could see it coming and you could see the point of impact there and he'd go, bam, and you would know right there is your cutoff, bam. So that's a really useful thing to know. I mean, it's not like this isn't a problem everywhere. There's a story with the Berlin Philharmonic a million years ago, I think it was Furt Weingler conducting. And they said that he was such a great conductor, but his baton technique was so enigmatic that the orchestra got together without him and had a meeting and decided when the baton passed the second button on his shirt, that was going to be the downbeat. So this stuff can happen to anybody. All right. I hope everybody's good. Why am I wearing shades? I don't know. And I have a turtleneck too, look. Woo! Bye.